Today we are going to be talking all about props and the five essential props you need to have in your food photography collection. Hey, it's Lauren. Welcome back to That Sage where we talk all about food photography so you can build the meaningful creative career you want. Today we're going to be talking all about food photography props. Props are an essential part of the food photography process. They're going to add to your story, help you add character and even maybe help you with your compositional elements a bit. But if you're at the beginning of your food photography career then building a prop collection can be kind of intimidating and knowing where to start is a bit tricky. So in today's video we're going to be looking at five props that you can focus on finding to start building your collection and your style. Okay so the first prop that we are going to be looking at is plates or more specifically small plates when we're talking about food photography we don't want to go with anything too big the bigger the plates are the more difficult they are to photograph and generally we don't need to be shooting huge portions of food when it comes to food photography so focus on building your collection with a few small plates kind of in a side salad plate size most of the time this is going to help you to get your food on the plate and make it look like the main thing without tons of free space around it and it's going to be easier for you to build more interesting compositions try and focus on neutral colors such as black and white beige gray etc because these are going to help you to keep the color only in the food in your image which means you're going to be able to use these plates over and over again if you go for things with a strong pattern or a strong color they become a bit too dominant in the frame and you find that you can't really reuse them all the time without all your images looking the same the next prop that you need to have in your food photography collection is a few pinch pots now these are tiny little bowls um, they're probably only about mm, five centimeters across and they are really really great for adding shape to your compositions and really helping you showcase some of the ingredients so quite often in a composition I'll use my plates or whatever it is that I'm serving my main food on to create those key focal points and then I'll use my pinch pots to fill in the space creating these visual journeys from one part to the other I also really love to showcase a few of the ingredients that are in the food to create a bit more interest in the frame and using pinch pots to do this is really useful okay essential prop number three are a few linen napkins or even just one to start with I really love to have a few linen napkins in really neutral colors are you seeing a neutral theme going on here maybe it's just me but I just think if you can build your prop collection with neutral colors it's going to serve you better for lots of different images so I have a few of these linen napkins I've got one in beige gray and I even have a dark blue one which I really like for those more dark and moody compositions so if you can find some linen napkins that are actually made of linen these are going to help you to create soft lines in your photos um, just give a bit of texture and interest to your images you can just have a little bit poking in in the corner or or you could fold it and have your main plate on top of it it gives you a lot of diversity in your compositions as well on to number four and we are talking about vintage cutlery now very specifically vintage because when you buy old pieces of cutlery they tend to be a bit more matte than brand new pieces when you have something really really shiny it's it can be a real struggle not to have tons of reflections going on in your frame or and that they just kind of steal the focus away from the food so I tend to like to shop in secondhand shops or if you have family that are getting rid of some things if they look a bit old and weathered they're probably going to be great for your food photography the other thing to bear in mind when you're thinking about cutlery is the size of it so you don't want to pick anything too big when we're working with food photography we're often working with smaller subjects or we just want to create a little leading line with something we don't want this big massive fork or massive spoon like completely dominant the frame so I tend to collect things like teaspoons or little cake forks salad forks and those work really well for most situations 
So the last prop that is essential to have in your food photography collection is some textured glassware. Now, obviously drinks are a huge part of food photography. And if you want to elevate your drinks photos just a little bit more, then go for some glasses that have some texture or pattern cut into them. The reason for this is plain glasses look really, really flat. Um, they carry a lot of reflections and they just kind of get a bit boring. When you have these sort of textured patterns going on, it's much easier to use the light to create these really beautiful colors and patterns in your image. And it creates this really shimmery feel. Again, I've picked up most of my glassware from secondhand shops, but there are a lot of great places online that sell some really interesting glasses too. So if you're starting off your food photography collection, go for some textured glassware. So one of my best tips for starting your food photography prop collection is to create a collection on Instagram. So one of the features that I absolutely love is the ability to save posts. So what I'll do is I have a collection called props and then as I'm scrolling through Instagram, if I really, really like something, I'll tap on the photo to check if they, um, if the person has tapped tagged their prop sources, and then I'll click through to that company and save a picture in this collection. So when I'm looking for a new piece, I already have this whole collection of um, prop makers or prop makers, yeah, prop makers, um, to go back and see if there are any pieces that I wanna add to my collection. Along with your props, your the backgrounds that you use are also a massively important part in setting the mood in your images. So if you're interested in how I source my food photography backgrounds and which ones I absolutely swear by, then go check out my video about all my food photography backgrounds on a budget, and I will see you next time. Bye.